Sarah. Welcome to Neophyte.tv, technology show for the not-so-geeky. My name's Tiffany Young. And I am Ben Friedman. And today on the show, the first section today, we're reviewing this very well-designed little gadget. And what is this, pray tell? This is um, a travel product by Belkin, who makes some great travel products. Mm -hmm. And this is their travel power bar. Now, a power bar, for any self-respecting geek out there, I don't know about you, but I own a hundred of these. Because, you know, every single plug in my home needs a power bar, so yep. I have then ten plugs, right? Exactly. Turns one into ten. I'm always afraid I'm going to electrocute myself. Yeah. So like, your power bar. But most power bars are these big, bulky things with a long right. six-foot cable. What happens when you travel or you go away on vacation or what have you? You take this. Because how many times do you go to a hotel room and there's like one free plug and it's it's already got the lamp plugged into it and the clock radio. If you think you have a bad, try being a woman trying to plug in all your stuff on top of, wait, and be a woman, a woman who actually has gadgets on top of it. There is just woman. not enough. Yeah, because you need to plug in, you know, not only the lamp and the alarm clock. You've got your hair dryer. You've got your straightener, uh, my your, curling uh, iron, yes. my curlers, my you've cell phone. You've got a curler phone. and a straightener? A straightener and a curler? Well, you never know. Like, today's a straight day. But what if I want to be curly? I curled. <laughs> anyway, so this is a product by Belkin. Now, this is not just a power bar. It's a surge protector. So if you're at a hotel that has really crummy power, that where the, it's ah. fluctuating up and down, it's not, it doesn't matter for a hairdryer, but for okay. a computer or something like that that you might want to plug in, something electronic, it will smooth out all those power I have a ripples. question. Yes. I was oh. actually at a hotel once. It's an older hotel, real, a real old hotel. Mm -hmm. And I plugged in three appli appliances, three hot styling tools to the same outlet it fried hot all styling it tools. fried all three styling tools wow now was it a coincidence or can it actually backfire and start short circuit yeah, your i think that can happen especially at older with places with the older wiring you're lucky you didn't start a fire i was yeah really now here's the question and i'm then, sure everyone's asking is how did you do your hair the next day well i had to go back out to wall world wally mart Walmart? Yeah. Wall, wall World? Wall World. Well, <laughs> well Walmart. And uh, I replaced my... But, you know, I told the front desk what happened. They yeah. thought that I lost my mind. I was like, okay. Anyway. So, anyway. Let's get back to the Belkin Travel Power So, nice it has a protector. You plug it in with one plug. It was a haunted hotel, though, so maybe that was it. Okay, can we get back to the gadget? Go ahead. Okay. Plugs into one plug. On the front, it has three outlets. Mm -hmm. Now, they're not wide... You know, far enough apart, if you've got like the wall wart thing, you can only get two in, Good. right? Because they're going to overlap. But if you have things that just have regular plugs, you'll get three in. Mm -hmm. And here's what I really like. On top are two USB jacks. Now, they don't connect to your computer, but they're powered. Mm -hmm. You can plug your iPod into one, it'll charge your iPod. You plug your cell phone into the other, it'll charge your cell phone. If you have a GPS, if you have... Right. Any number of things, it will charge them up here w without using Perfect. the plugs on your computer. Very nice. So you can have three things plugged in, like mm -hmm. your lamp travel charger computer, uh -huh. and your iPod and your cell phone. I mean, that's one little doohickey. Okay, I saved the best feature. You ready? <laughs> what if you're, you know, you're, there's already like one plug in the top and it needs to go on the bottom. There's a little button here that you can push, and this rotates. Ah. So now it'll go in that, that way fantastic. and hang down. And if you push it again, it will rotate uh, the other direction. That was very thoughtful. So now it'll go in this way, right. and it'll be... What a great design. Isn't that a great design? It really Belkin? is. Wow, that was very well thought out. And so Ben goes cell phone, uh, would you say a computer or something? Yeah, I go computer straightener, lamp, curler. Straightener, curler. So. Yeah. <laughs> and they'll all be protected. You see there's a little light on top here that says protected. Mm -hmm. So it's protected. Yeah, I think that's a fantastic product. I it's something agree. I would use all the time. Great. Uh, right. So uh, that is the Belkin uh, <laughs> Travel Surge Power Adapter Power Bar Multiple Power Outlet thingy. Pricing? Pricing? Um, that's a good question. You know, I did not get the pricing for this in okay. the uh, stuff, but I think it's uh, in the $20, $25 range. Not bad. I don't know, but okay. go check. It's one of these right. things where, you know, Belkin is a name, good name, so, mm -hmm. th you know, things like cables and stuff Bel tend to be a little expensive, but it's the best design travel power uh, I've seen. seen. I, me too, I agree. And that's all the time we have in the first section, but we have another section coming up mm -hmm. right after this, so please stay tuned. What do you do when you get frustrated by your computer? Whether you have a simple question or it's a major computer crisis, write down the number on your screen because I can help. I'm Luke Ford, founder and CEO of My Computer Works. If you have a small business or a home computer, My Computer Works is your personal computer help desk. Whether it's a big problem or a simple question about your computer, simply pick up the phone, call our friendly American-based technicians, and we'll connect directly to your computer and fix the problem for you. 
It's immediate, safe, and secure, and doesn't require a stranger coming into your home. And we'll never try to sell you something you don't need. There's no problem or question too small. We can help. My Computer Works is now serving thousands of happy customers all across our great country. It's fabulous, and I can call as many times as I want. If my computer starts acting up, I call them. It's the best money I've ever spent in my life. For a small activation fee and only $19.95 a month, you can call us when you need us. Now my computer works. Does yours? And we're back with the second uh, product spotlight today. We are looking at this guy, which is a little GPS from a company called Lawrence. Uh -huh. Lawrence, which is not the first name that comes to mind when you think GPS. What, what, when I say GPS, is there a company name that comes to mind? Uh, well, I always associate Navman, NavPro, yeah. Nav... Nav something, yes. NavTech, Nav, right. NavMe, NavU. Uh, Garmin, is... have you heard of Garmin? Uh, I've heard of Garmin. Garmin is a yeah. very popular band. Uh, Mio, we've seen the Mio GPS units. Right. Lawrence, um, I'm a pilot, and I used to have a Lawrence GPS uh, aircraft GPS, so I know that they do have a long history of GPSs, but I haven't seen too many of them, mm -hmm. or they haven't seemed that popular for the car. This guy is a mixed blessing. This is the Lawrence Zog, X-O-G. I don't know who the genius in the marketing <laughs> department. North on 48th Street. Oh, oh, it's talking to us. It, it is talking to us. It, it has. Do you it tell it? Did you, did you put the thing in there? Yeah. No, I think it must be uh, just uh, taking over from oh. the last route. It usually, they usually don't get uh, GPS signals in here very, very ah, well. Ah, But okay. I don't know if you can see this. Uh, it's a very small, compact unit. It's also very thin. It will really fit in your pocket. Mm -hmm. Here's where this unit shines. Let me talk about the really good stuff before I get to the old stuff, bad stuff. It, it handles on-road and off-road. So you can be driving in the car, mm -hmm. and that's great. And then if you want to take it on a boat or if you want to go hiking backcountry, you can download topographic maps. Lawrence nice. will sell them to you on an SD card, put it in there, and huh. you can take it hiking. Ah. And you can take it boating, and it'll have all the marine waterways and all that stuff. So it's really a dual that's mode. That's really nice when you're out there. Yeah. In the it is a, more, a real nice dual mode. Now, it isn't quite as big of a screen as some of the other. How's the battery then? I mean, how long can you actually take it out without? You know, that's a good point. So the, when you take it out, of the car, right. I only found about three to four hours. That's enough to get lost. Oh, it's okay. I don't need to leave breadcrumbs. I have a GPS. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is Tiffany, right? She, she never goes, came back. She goes three hours into the backcountry. Oh, I'm following my route, so I know <laughs> I'm going to get back. Turn, oh, time to go home. <laughs> of course, there's no cell signal. You know, nothing. <laughs> I don't know, but we found our navigation. That's right. <laughs> that's <laughs> all, that's all these, that's left. We don't know whose bones these are, but we know they had a Lawrence <laughs> Zog GPS. So, yeah, I only found three, four hours of battery life. Uh -huh. So you've got to, you know, either bring along a charger or something or with a generator. Mm -hmm. You have a generator at your Solar campsite. Pack. Right, yeah. Solar pack of some kind. You can, it charges via UP, uh, USB. Okay. So if you have, like, you can buy USB solar panel things. I've seen those. Use, yeah. Actually, we've had them on the show before. We have had yeah. them on the show. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the size? Oh, size is great. Mm. Yeah, it's a and great size. And by the size. way, it'll, it'll play music, too. Oh, that's nice. Um, I think it's great if you, you know, if you don't have a navigation, I highly recommend them. And I've always had them, well, I, not always, the last few years I've had them in my car. They've been fantastic. Now, you kind of rely great on one to take in your out car. Of my car. Well, that's mm -hmm. true. But it's not as good, I found, as the dedicated car driving ones. Well, this is a doesn't little bit. It doesn't have as many points have, of interest. It, it doesn't. Um, you can't do the same kind of searches. Well, then, you can do some, but not not nearly as detailed. And, exactly. And it doesn't. Yeah. You know, I, I just found tracking the satellites wasn't as accurate. It took a longer time to get a hold of the satellites. Mm -hmm. So just for point to point driving, it wasn't as good as the Mio or the right. Garmin or the Nav something. Oop! Else. Missed my exit. Oop! Missed my exit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when navigation first came out. Yeah. And you couldn't drive past sixty miles an hour because the navigation couldn't keep up. It's true. It like updated like every it updated, five seconds. It did. It was you. You've already missed your exit or three or four of Get them. Get ready to turn right. And you're like, you've missed your right hand turn. Do it's another like, U turn, that's mommy. Right. It's Preston, mommy. Are we lost again? Because <laughs> I don't tell them. The navigation does. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So other other than that, it's, I think it's a nice product. It is a nice product. It yeah. has a nice screen, you know, nice and bright, mm -hmm. easily readable in the day. But I got to tell you, so. My advice is if you if you do a lot of backcountry mm -hmm. outing, you know, hiking, or if you do if you do want to take it off road and you only want to buy one GPS, this is a good one to buy. Right. But if you do mostly in car, mm -hmm. this is not the best in car GPS. Right. Well, you know, this is the combination between the two. So this is the combination between the two. Yes. And that's all the time we have for this week. Uh, but uh, let us know if you. 
have tried this product, if you like it, if you use it, um, go to our website, www.neo-fight.tv. Wow, I lied. <laughs> and uh, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next week. And if you have an extra 30 seconds, take a look at this. Hey, I'm Andy Walker. Have you just bought a new computer with Windows Vista on it? Or maybe you've got an old XP computer that you upgraded. Well, we've just created an amazing new DVD. It'll teach you everything you need to know about the new operating system from Microsoft. It's called Getting Started with Windows Vista. In this DVD, there are three sections. One is out of the box. What do you need to do as soon as you start up Vista? Number two is Vista Essentials, things you need to know every day to make your computer experience amazing. Antivirus, security, all kinds of new features that Vista offers. And finally, geek tips and tricks, things you need to know that nobody else will have told you to make you a Vista guru. For more information, check out our website at gettingstartedvideo.com.